Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me. Today I want to do a bold look but not very very bold. Like I want to have the eyes dark but not very very dark. Oh my god, I feel like whenever I say that and whenever I'm feeling like that, I'm always ending up with a super dark, extremely dramatic look. I'm not even sure how my face will look by the end of this video, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna start off with some primer. I'm gonna use this one here by MAC. Um, this is their strobe cream. With my fingers, I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Alright, and for foundation, I'm going with the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation in the shade light beige I love this foundation by the way it has really nice full coverage it's very affordable I first tried it in my first in my second first impressions video and I've been loving it ever since it's amazing It's a great foundation, it has that beautiful matte finish, it's, the coverage is really full, it, it makes everything look flawless and it looks beautiful on the skin. But if you have very oily skin, you want to make sure that you use a very good primer under or set it with a very strong setting powder because it tends to make me look oily throughout the day and even me that I'm not... Um, I don't have the oiliest skin ever so keep that in mind if you want to purchase it if you want to try it out if you have very oily skin you will need to to do some extra work what I'm doing next okay let's let's go ahead and move to the eyes so I'm gonna take some of that um, same foundation and I'm gonna apply some of it on my eyelids I'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow base and then very quickly I'll go ahead and set it with this, it's like almost white eyeshadow but not like really white, it's like a yellowish white, something like that. Ah, uh, it happened again, I forgot to do my eyebrows. I'm so excited about doing my eye makeup that I forgot to do my eyebrows again. I usually like doing my eyeshadows when I have my eyebrows done. So let me just really quickly go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm gonna start off by brushing them up with the Ready Set Brow by Benefit. And after that, I'm gonna fill them in with the Nabla Cosmetics Brow Divine um, Brow Pencil in the shade... What it is? What is the shade? Mercury? I think that it's called Mercury. It's super rainy outside, it's getting cold. I don't like that. I don't like that. Now we can move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette. I love this palette. Such a beautiful palette, so pretty colors inside. And I feel like I can use them all to create different looks. Because sometimes when you have a palette with, let's say, 50 eyeshadows inside, some of the colors you really love, but most of them you pretty much never use. This one, I feel like I can use them all. And I like it a lot. So I'm gonna start off with this color right here in the center. It's called Buffed. Let me just find a brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this one here. Uh, this is the Duo Fiber Blender brush by Makeup Addiction. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that eyeshadow in my crease. And next on a flat brush, I'm gonna take this eyeshadow right here. It's a really dark brown color. It's called Dark Roast and I'm placing that all over my eyelid. On that same Makeup Addiction brush, I'm taking again that color in the center and I'm gonna start diffusing the edges of that dark brown shade into the crease, doing small circular motions and just making it look very seamless. And that may make your eyeshadow look lighter, like see how dark it was when I first applied and see how lighter it looks now that I blended it. You can fix that, you can just add one more layer of that um, eyeshadow that we applied all over the eyelid and blend it out again. However, I'm gonna leave it like that, I'm not gonna make it any darker. And see that foundation already starts to look pretty greasy in this area right here. That's the only thing that I hear about it. So annoying. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up with my under eye. Oh, I hit myself. I'm gonna finish up with my under eye area now. I'll actually mix two concealers and don't laugh. This is the the Maybelline Anti Age uh, Instant Anti Age Concealer. This is the one that it has that fluffy bow right here as an applicator, but I. Just got rid of it and now I'm like squeezing it and it's coming right of this uh, little thing right here. So it's 
even more convenient. I will mix it with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And using that same Real Techniques sponge, I'm gonna blend it out. Both of them are great concealers. I would use just the It Cosmetics Bye Bye, but it's a little bit too light for me, so I'm mixing it with the with that Maybelline one so that it's, it's a little bit more suitable for my skin tone. Setting it in place with the Laura Mercier um, Secret Brightening Powder. I'm gonna use my puff for that, it's been a while. I've been missing using a puff under my eyes, you guys. And I don't know why I switched to, to a brush at some point. I always loved using puff for setting my under eye area, you know, but I don't know, I don't know. And I'm gonna set my T-zone, my cheeks with the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. I'm gonna use again my puff. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking this shimmery shade right here. It's called Grandstand. And with a flat brush, that's the same one that I used before, I'm gonna apply it in the center of my eyelid. Then I'm taking a matte black pencil by Nabla Cosmetics and I'm running that uh, very closely to my lashes and in between them. Then I'm taking an angled brush, it's quite a thick angled brush and I will start smudging it so that you know it doesn't look like a harsh line, it looks more smoked out. Then I'm taking again that dark warm brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it under my lower lashes. After that, with the Sigma E41, I'm taking that lighter shade that I used before in the crease and I'm gonna diffuse that brown eyeshadow. This eyeshadow right here is going in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. This here is my new favorite mascara. It's by Essence. It's really affordable, you guys. It's their Volume Stylist um, 18 Hours Curl and Hold Mascara with Micro Styling Waxes. Yeah. Okay, but there is one thing that I don't like about it. It's my favorite, but there is one thing that I don't like about it. Same thing as the foundation. The wand has so much product on it, it's a nightmare. So what I like to do is I like to take most of it uh, right here. Like, look at this huge piece here. Can you guys see it? It was on the wand. Okay, and now it has a very small amount of product on it. I like to take one of those. It's just a paper tissue. And I'm doing this. Now the brush is ready for my lashes. See how much product. I know that this is a total waste of product, but what can I do? That's the only way that it works. So I'm curling my lashes first. And then I'm applying the mascara. My lashes are not like super duper long, but I'm working on making them look as long as possible without using any false lashes. It's really difficult, false lashes are just like, okay, done. But it's a little bit more difficult to build up your lashes with mascara, you know? But I'm working on that. Lately I've been really enjoying the no falsies looks, I don't know why. Anyway, moving on to the face, this is the Hola Light Bronzer by Benefit. I'm gonna use it to add some warmth and definition to my face. I don't know if it's just mine, but the mirror in this makeup geek uh, palette, it's a little bit like curvy, it's not absolutely straight. I see my face a little bit, you know, somehow. <laughs> For the highlighter, Melo by The Balm, all time favorite highlighter. Nice! I'm gonna also run some black pencil in my waterline. My hair is like, no, I don't wanna be curly. I just want to be straight, so I'm curling it and after, let's say, one hour, it's all straight again. Do you guys know any kind of product that keeps the curls in a good shape for a good amount of time? <laughs> time for the lips, I'm going with this liquid lipstick by Ofra, it's called Americano. Oh, sorry, you can't see anything. <laughs> so I'm applying it like this, mainly in the center. And then with a the flat brush, I'm gonna bring it towards the edges of my lips. I'm also adding just a tiny little bit of a concealer so that it's not that dark. 
Alright, and we're done. I hope you guys like the look. I love it because it's bold, but not really bold. That's exactly what I was talking at the beginning. I wanted to come up with something that was dark, but not really dramatic, you know, something in between. This is it. I like it a lot. I think that this look is also very suitable for the fall, even though I was not going for a fall look. Let me know what other looks you want to see in the next videos, you guys. And also, if you know a product that it's very very strong and it keeps the curls in place for like forever, let me know. I just feel like my hair is like super heavy and the curls are just suffering a lot. So if you have something, something in mind, let me know. I will appreciate it. I will buy it. I will try it. So let me know. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and also visit my blog. All of the links will be down in the description box. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!